Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to week number three of the WBE. My name is Seabed, coach of the Detroit Stillings. We are going up against a, a dear, dear friend today. Magnitude, a.k.a. Above Average Steve, a.k.a. Pokemon Trainer Steve, a.k.a. I love Steve to death. If you guys don't know Steve, go drop a sub over on his channel. One of the best people I've ever had the pleasure to meet on the face of the internet. Uh, quite frankly, if you guys are Draft League fans, you guys don't know Steve. A little back history is that Steve is actually the inventor of Draft League format. So we're going up against the granddaddy himself. I'm so excited. Uh, always love having a battle with Steve. Always love uh, talking to Steve when I can. Great guy. Go show some love over on his channel. Go check out his side of the battle as well after you're done watching this one, of course. And uh, yeah, we're gonna. there's a few things that I'll mention about this video, but... First thing I'd like to say is uh, if you guys are enjoying these Draft League videos, make sure you guys leave a like. It shows that this is the type of content that you guys enjoy. Uh, leave a comment down below. It helps fight the YouTube algorithm and shows YouTube that this type of content is what people are interested in. And it pushes it out and it helps me out. So you guys, a few things out of your day helps me out. And hopefully I'll provide 20 to 40 minutes of entertainment for you. So thank you guys in advance. Uh, if you guys are new, subscribe for more. We have the ongoing 10 week season right now. We are playing this match today actually out of sequence. So... Steve and I both have our day jobs, and we try to keep in line with two different leagues right now on top of every other uh, aspect of our lives that we have to balance. So we are actually playing a little bit in advance for this matchup. Uh, as of recording this right now, neither of us have played our Week 2 match. So when you guys see the stats on screen in the battle, you guys are going to see our scores reflected. Uh, only our Week 1 matches. Spoilers if you guys missed our Week 1 match. We did already. Uh, we did win our Week 1 match as of recording. Uh, I have no idea the outcome of the match up against the uh, Star Chews and Faint Attack. So I should play Faint Attacks in about 48 hours from now. So that is just a little bit of preemptive information there for you. I know some people are going to comment and be like, I say you're 1-0. Because as of recording this right now, I am 1-0. So uh, that's how that is. Hopefully we pick up the W against Christian. You guys have already seen that team builder in battle. This is a really weird term of events for me. Go check that out as well. Familiar yourself with all the WB content. Get yourself up to date. So that way, if I say we lost to Christian, we lost to Christian. But if I say we won to Christian, we won to Christian. Uh, however the cards may fall. We're taking care of this battle today. We're going to go full face cam really quickly so you guys can pick up some Detroit Steel Wings merchandise. We do have uh, logos on the t-shirt, hoodies, pillows, all that fun stuff. We also do have our very first merchandise line, Be Great, Do Great. It is available until the end of the month. It is our first drop ever. We have sold over uh, almost over 100 units at this point. So if you guys want to be a part of that, uh, first drop in history that I've been able to pull off. And I'm so thankful for each and every one of you guys that has picked that up. Thank you guys so much. Uh, literally helps keep the lights on around here. So thank you guys for that. Um, if you guys are not fans of the team builders, first off, I'm going to say do it because our our graphics are really cool and you guys will like it. Really informative. But if you guys don't like the team builders, you'll see some text floating somewhere on screen in post-production. So you guys can hop right on ahead of the battle if that's what you're here for. But if you guys are here for the team builders, thank you for sticking around for the full length of the video. You guys are going to start to see some teams appear on screen right about now. My opponent has a team consisting of Coma O, Ferrothorn, Barrascuta, Reuniclus, Chandelure, Comfy, Drapion, Mantine, Chinchino, Manectric, and Kanto Sandslash. Some things to note about my opponent's team. He's got a well-diversified speed tier. He's got everything from 136 all the way down to 20. Um, he does have uh, three rockers in the form of Ferrothorn, Coma O, and Sandslash. A spiker in the form of Ferrothorn, a toxic spiker in the form of Drapion, a Rapid Spinner in the form of Sand Slash, and two Defoggers in the form of Comfy and Mantine. The only Cleric on his team is Comfy with access to both Heal Bell and uh, Aromatherapy. And then he has no Wish Support on his team. Uh, no Sticky Webs, nothing like that. So going into this matchup, it was really hard. Steve's really taken advantage of the fact that there's not a lot of hidden power. You can't run hidden power in Generation 8. So he's got a lot of Pokemon that share a four times weakness, which normally you could tack on a random hidden power for, and it helps. So uh, unfortunately, we don't have access to that. So going into this matchup, uh, some of the things that I, I wanted to note, I don't have a dark type, so I definitely think he's going to bring Reuniclus. Manectric is very fast and a very likely Scarf candidate, in my opinion. It is a great offensive pivot for something like Shell Smash Cloister. Uh, if he does bring that, he can outspeed with Choice Scarf Manectric, so something to keep in mind. Um, I think Como o would show up. I think Como o is uh, your tier ones are typically uh, something you'd want to bring. He can bring Omni Boost in Como o, so he can bring the Clangorous Soul Sets. But other than that, it's just really well-rounded overall. We had it last season in the WBE, and although our record didn't show it, I really enjoyed Como o, and I think Steve's doing really well with it as well. I do think Comfy is going to show up. Comfy provides just a little bit of priority on the team, which I think our team can be a little weak to at times. Um, I also think it's nice to have just a Fairy-type around because we do have Gudra. 
that can just drop Dracos on his team outside of that. Excuse me. Uh, I also think Chandelure is going to show up. Chandelure can be a really fast mod that kind of breaks through uh, some walls. It can be like a flame charge three attack set. Uh, it does get uh, something like Shadow Ball, Fire Blast, and Energy Ball just kind of go through the team a little bit. So um, he could bring uh, Chandelure. Then I think Drapion will show up. Drapion's a really, really nice check for something like Gengar. Um, doesn't have, I don't remember if Drapion originally got Pursuit, but if it did, it can no longer Pursuit us. Um, so that is something to keep in mind. And, uh, yeah, I think Drapion just hits really hard after losing in the semifinals to a Drapion. I, if Steve has done his homework, uh, Drapion plagues me. So, so we're preparing for that this time around, but those are the six that I think he's going to be bringing on there. Some other candidates could be, um, Sandslash might show up as an electric community outside of Lightning Rod Manectric. Um, Ferrothorn, I don't know if Ferrothorn would show up just because, like, we don't have a fire type, but I have probably one of the best fighting types in League format, so... I don't know, like, maybe, like, a Choppleberry Ferrothorn might show up. <clears throat> um, I don't know if Banded Barrascuta would show up. I have Gudra, I have um, a Skarmory, I have a Gastrodon. Um, Mantine, again, I don't know if Mantine will show up. I have a great Rock-type Pokemon. Chinchino might show up. It's very fast. It does get some really nice coverage moves to help out. Um, if it's, like, Scarf Skill Link with Bullet Seed, Rock Blast, Tail Slap, all that fun stuff. I apologize. I have no idea. I Allergies, something along that, but... I apologize in advance. So, we're going to start breaking down the team here. I think we've got the six that we need to pull this off coming out of our week one match. Skipping all the way over to our week three. We're going to try to keep that momentum. So, if week two does not keep that momentum, we blame week two, Chase. We don't blame week three. Week three is here to play today. Um, first Pokemon that we are going to be bringing on the team is Platinum the Skarmory. She's rocking her Rocky Helmet with a sturdy ability. Roost, Substitute, Brave Bird, and Body Press. 196 EVs in HP, 4 in attack, 204 in defense, 84 in special defense, 20 in speed with an impish nature. Now... Uh, it's a really weird set, and I've come to realize that just Draft League in general, you just want to run weird sets. So, uh, taking a look at his team, he's got a lot of physical threats like Barrascuta. Um, Comfy is, Comfy's got the fairy type coverage that could just pain us. Drapion hits pretty hard, Shinshino hits pretty hard, uh, depending on, and then, uh, Sandslash can also hit pretty hard. So we want a ground immunity that can help out with Sandslash. We want a Pokemon that can help out and punish skilling Shinshino, if it's just gonna, like, U-turn around. We want a Pokemon that can help out with Drapion. Um, again, it can just... I've had bad luck with it in the past, so... We want a Pokemon that can help pressure that. Um, and we want to be able to kind of take advantage of a few Pokemon. So, between like Ferrothorn and Como. So, what this set does is with the 20 in speed, we are actually outspeeding Uninvested Mantine. Um, so, if he tries to go for like a Scald or something like that, we can maybe, if it's like a Chip Down Mantine, uh, we can go for a Brave Bird in its face and do some damage. Um, we do have Substitute on there. Substitute is nice because against Ferrothorn, Ferrothorn can't really do too much to us. And with our investment here, let me just pull up like a standard like, uh, what's OU run these days? Um, Max Max, of course. Okay. So like a standard Max Max Ferrothorn uh, does not break our sub with knockoff or body press. So that is something to know that he is going to not, he, we're going to be able to get behind a sub and roost. Um, and do all that fun stuff. We avoid Leech Seed, we avoid Thunder Wave, things like that, which he would more than likely go for. And with our defensive investment, a max HP, max defense, uh, Ferrothorn, we're actually doing 34 to 40% of that. So we have about a 46% chance to a uh, three hit KO that Ferrothorn. So being able to uh, stall it out, prevents uh, Leech Seeds and Thunder Waves from hindering our Skarmory, which is really all it could do. Like it can knock off and it can like power whip. I mean, even uh, my goal here, uh, the, the defensive investment also helps out with is that if he's running max HP, uh, if he's running max HP Ferrothorn, we do three hit KO with body press, and then we also do have a very small chance to two hit KO if it's uh, max HP with leftovers. It's max HP Rocky Helmets. Um, we do actually, let's take off the leftovers here. Let's see what we're, what we're running down to. A 44% chance to two hit KO max HP Ferrothorn. So that just gives us a little bit of a better way to hit it. Uh, we're still taking the ends, the iron barbs, unfortunately. If he has Rocky Helmet, we got to like play around with our roosts and things like that, but... Similarly, if he tries to knock off Power Whip, do anything like that, our Rocky Helmet's going to be hurting him as well. We also do hang with Drapion quite a bit as well. Uh, we are three hit KO'd with our defensive investment. 196. Did I even say this? 196? Yeah, I went through this bread. I'm sorry. Um, uh, we're three hit KO'd by Banded Barrascuta Liquidation. So we can just continuously roost off liquidations from Barrascuta, provided it does not get a defense drop. And that has 123 base attack. Um, we are three hit KO'd by a plus two. The, so the only way Comfy can really hit us is with like Calm Mind Stored Power. 
and we're three hit KO'd by max special attack, plus two, plus two, life orb comfy stored powder. So if it goes for two call mines and it has a life orb and it has stored power, we are three hit KO'd by that. And then we are also three hit KO'd by a plus two drapey on fire fang, which is swords dance and the fire fang. Uh, we are three hit KO'd by that as well. So I really like the set this week. Brave Bird helps to do a little bit of damage to Coma O. Body Press does things to Ferrothorn. I mean, to everything that does not resist fighting type moves or uh, is immune to it with something like Chandelure. We can also get, if, if we can get behind a sub with Chandelure, unless it's Infiltrator Chandelure, uh, he does need to break our sub and we can get a big Brave Bird off. Things like that. So I do like Skarmory this week as a little bit of a physical pivot. Helps out with Chinchino as well. Uh, I discussed Chinchino a little bit. Let me just double check that. These team builders are here for the people that want them, damn it. Uh, for knockoff from a choice bandage and Chino has a 99.5% chance to two hit KO. So he does have a chance to break our sub with choice banded knockoff from Chinchino. Um, if it's something like choice scarf to counter choice scarf Rakion, uh, he cannot break our sub with Chinchino. So I love Skarmory this week. I love being able to just roost off some damage, get some Rocky helmet off, body press around Brave Bird, the things that are weak to it. The next Pokemon that we are bringing on the team uh, we got a little bit of speed control this week. We are bringing Moose the Terrakion. He's my best bro. He has the Choice Scarf with the Justified Ability. Zen Headbutt, Close Combat, Stone Edge, and Earthquake. We have 20 EVs in HP, 252 EVs in Attack, 236 EVs in Speed with a Jolly Nature. Originally, it was a Life Orb Swords Dance set, but I feel like he has a lot of Mons that can easily Scarf to outspeed us and then hit us with like a nice coverage move or just a stab move in general that we don't resist. So... Scarf Terrakion was the play here. Uh, we outspeed Scarf Manectric. Uh, we cannot outspeed Scarf Chinchino. If he is Scarf Chinchino with Skill Link Bullet Seed, mm, that's that's my... The more I talk about it, the more I think Chinchino is going to show up. But uh, that is my prediction right there. We do have... Uh, Zen Headbutt is there really... Well, Close Combat and Stone Edge really run his team. Absolutely run his team. Close Combat hits Ferrothorn. Barrascuta. Stone Edge hits Reuniclus. Stone Edge hits Chandelure. Stone Edge hits Comfy. Close combat uh, hits Drapion, Stone Edge hits Mantine, close combat hits Cinchino, Manectric, and Sand Slash. Earthquake is there for the Drapion specifically. Again, I'm not messing around with any Drapions. Um, and then Zen Headbutt is there, so close combat is actually doing more to Como, to be honest. Uh, it does get the stab boost from our fighting type. Uh, we fighting type stab boost, so it does get that extra boost over Zen Headbutt. But if it comes down to Terrakion versus Como, I'm probably going to play for the flinch or the not defense drop with Zen Headbutt. Then I am trying to go for a close combat crit, get the defense drop, and then we die to something that it goes for. So I'll probably play for the Zen Headbutt if it does come down to it. But really, close combat, Stone Edge are the moves I'm clicking unless I'm in front of a Drapion. Again, we do have enough speed with the Scarf to outpace a Scarf Manectric. Uh, we are outpacing Coma O after it goes for its Omni Boost. We're outpacing plus one. Uh, Chandelure, things of that nature. So nothing too crazy to say about Moose. Uh, I do like his set this week. The next set that we are bringing this week, we are bringing, um, to me, it is the first time I'm bringing it, but we are also, we have also brought her last week as well, I believe. We are bringing Druk the Gudra. She's rocking her Assault Vest with the GUI ability. Fire Blast, Draco Meteor, Sludge Wave, and Thunderbolt. We have 252 EVs in HP, 4 EVs in Defense, 204 EVs in Special Attack, 4 EVs in Special Defense, 44 in Speed with a Modest Nature. Um, Gudra takes every hit he wants to throw at us this week, essentially, and throws it back, like literally throws that in a circle. Like I was impressed at how much Gudra took. I was, uh, I don't know how well Gudra did in week two. Again, if G G Chase Gudra sucked week two, I'm hoping Gudra did well, does well week two, but, um, Gudra with the assault vest. So with the 204 EVs in special attack with a modest nature, we, uh, with Draco Meteor, we are one-shotting max HP combo. Oh, so if he brings, like, a defensive variant to help out with Terrakion, um, if he's just max HP with no special defense investment, the uh, Draco Meteor is one-shotting. We are three-hit KO'd by a plus two. So the uh, the other Pokemon that I wanted to make sure we could take special hits from, Chandelure, we just shrug hits off from literally every day of the week. Uh, we resist fire and Shadow Ball with the Assault Vest, and our just bulk is not doing anything to us. With the uh, Assault Vest and the HP investment, we are three hit KO'd by plus two Life Orb Draining Kiss from the Comfy. And then we can do some big boy damage with the Sludge Wave in return. And then we are also outspeeding Uninvested Como. -Oh. So Uninvested Como, -Oh, it's 105. If he's running like all HP defense, special defense, we can outpace it and drop two Dracos and call it a day there. 
the next Pokemon that we are bringing on the team. We've got a little bit of support for some of our other Pokemon on this team. We're bringing Cilantro the Whimsicott. He's rocking leftovers with the Prankster ability. We have Leech Seed, Moonblast, Defog, and Memento. Four, D four DVs. Four EVs in defense, 252 in special attack, 252 in speed with the Timid Nature. With the 252 in speed and a Timid Nature, we're actually outspeeding uh, Jolly Chinchino. So if he's bringing Scarf, he outspeeds. If not, boom, we get to hit him with the Moonblast. But the reason for this Pokemon, we're faster than Chinchino, so we can get some chip damage off on it. Uh, Leech Seed, so it was a toss-up between Whimsicott and Aromatisse in this last slot. And I thought Whimsicott made better sense because it naturally outspeeds Como. And our Memento Prankster abilities could be fun to mess around with this game for not only something like Terrakion to come in, but uh, our next Pokemon, as you guys will soon see. Leech Seed is there to, ideally to give Gudra some recovery. We had discussed bringing Aromatisse with Wish to Wish Pass into Assault Vest Gudra, but Leech Seed just makes a little bit more sense. Uh, gives us some recovery. It gives it to, yeah, it's chip damage on our opponents, and then also um, uh, gives our other Pokemon recovery on the switch. So Moonblast is there. Moonblast is pretty free. Uh, I'm not staying in on a Ferrothorn. I have a Skarmory there to deal with it, really. The, so I'm not too worried about that. Defog is there in case he does get any Rock Spikes or Cheese Spikes up. Uh, we are not bringing Gengar this week, so we do not have a Poison type to remove Toxic Spikes, if so brought. And then Memento is there. So Scarf Terrakion just really comes in and clicks close combat. If Koma O starts Omni boosting all over us, we're in for a bad time and Memento actually drops. So if he is the Throat Spray Clangorous Soul set, we can Memento and nerf that plus two. Um, he'll get the plus one from the Omni boost and then the other plus one from the Throat Spray. So we can Memento to bring him back down to normal. So he's not too big of a problem. He's just a little bulkier. Uh, also, if or if he's just the regular Omni boost set, maybe with like a berry, um, we can bring him down to minus one to make it a little bit more manageable. Uh, Memento also allows us to uh, just drop the stats on any other Pokemon. It is priority because of Prankster, so that is something to note. We cannot, I'm saying this out loud, so I do not do it. We cannot Leech Seed, Defog, or Memento in front of Drapion. If Drapion comes in, we need to go hard into Skarmory because Prankster does not affect Dark types in Gen 8 so, or Gen 7 on. So uh, we cannot do that, but Memento will help out for all of those. It'll help out with the boost in Como. It will help out uh, potentially on like something like Reuniclus if need be, but uh, Reuniclus we've got a we've got a Pokemon in the back to kind of help out with that here later. So, uh, what Pokemon can take advantage of Memento? You guys ask. We are bringing Bunker the Cloister. He is rocking his Focus Sash with the Skill Link ability, Shell Smash, Icicle Spear, Rock Blast, and Pin Missile. We have 252 EVs in Attack, 76 EVs in Special Defense, 180 EVs in Speed with an Adamant Nature. Now, what does this do? Pray tell. Um, actually, this spread is not right because I actually, uh, EV this prior when we were White Herb, but we're Focus Ash now, so we're gonna keep it the same. Originally, um, originally we lived a, uh, if we somehow are at full health and have no Focus Ash, what this does is, uh, with no Shell Smashing, we live a Life Orb, um, Giga Drain from Comfy. So, other than that, Focus Ash is there. We've got the Defog on Cloyster, on Whimsicott to help remove hazards for Cloyster. But after a Shell Smash, we outspeed plus one Coma O. That's why I think something like Jinchino or Manetric could show up with a Scarf, because they naturally can outspeed Shell Smash Cloister, at least our sets. Um, but if we can get those out of the way or they are not Scarfed, plus two Cloister destroys everything. Um, Icicle Spear for the Coma O. Ferrothorn, I, uh, Ferrothorn and Comfy are my two hindrances to this set. Uh, only because Comfy gets Triage and Giga Drain. Icicle Spear for the Coma O. Rock Blast for Barrascuta. Pin Missile for Uniclus, Rock Blast for Chandelure, Icicle Spear for Comfy, Icicle Spear for Drapion, Rock Blast for Mantine, Icicle Spear for Chinchino, Icicle Spear for Manectric, Icicle Spear for Sand Slash. It really, this is, I, I'm, if I don't see Comfy, like if Comfy and Ferrothorn don't show up, I'm almost tempted to lead off with it and just click Shell Smash. Like, Manectric, Ferrothorn, and Comfy, if those three don't show up, Cloister's going out first, I'm clicking Shell Smash and hoping. So, that's my thoughts on that. Uh, the next Pokemon on the team and the last Pokemon we are bringing on the team is going to be Hivemind the Orbeetle. A lot of people loved Hivemind week one. Um, I needed to bring him back week three because he just, he does really well this week, actually. So we are bringing the Expert Belt with the Frisk ability. Recover, Future Sight, Bug Buzz, and Shadow Ball. We have 212 EVs in HP, 4 in defense, 112 in special attack, 180 in speed with a timid nature. Now it's a really weird set and I love really weird sets. I love really weird sets. I know MV calls weird EV spreads Chinese spreads. They're not Chinese spreads. They're really weird EV spreads. This is my really weird EV spread. 
with the bug buzz expert belt and 112 special attack we are two hit KOing a reuniclus that has gone for a calm mind uh if he's plus one so if he is not plus one we bug buzz and he goes for a calm mind where he's already plus one we go for a bug buzz he's now plus two we can still shot him we can still uh two hit KO him through that provided it's like a normal max HP max defense set uh shadow ball is there shadow ball hits the um I'm hoping I can hit the chandelure quite really and future sight is really nice because it helps wear down some of his other Pokemon obviously if he brings Drapion future sight is going to be immune because it's going to switch in and it's not going to do anything but I'm hoping future sight can help wear down some Pokemon so that way we can bring in something like Cloyster late game uh we can bring in something like Scarf Terrakion late game just to kind of help clean up so that is going to be the team for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed the team builder. Let me know uh, if you guys want to ahead of the battle. Your guys' thoughts on the team in the comment section down below. I'm going to cut to where we get to the battle, and I'll see you guys there. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here today with week number three of WBE. The Detroit Steel Wings are taking on my friend Steve, a.k.a. Magnitude, and the Milwaukee Sauce Bucks. If you guys are new, feel free to subscribe for more. If you guys missed the uh, team builder, you guys see the six that I'm bringing right down below. You guys see the six that I think my opponent is bringing as well. Check out the link in the description for some merchandise if you guys want to support the team. I'm going to cut to team preview and we'll be right back. All right. So my opponent's got a little bit of a different team than I anticipated. He's got Coma O. He's got Reuniclus. He has the Ferrothorn. He's got Drapion. He's got Manectric and he's got Barrascuta. So we got the Chandelure wrong and we got the Comfy wrong, which is fine by me. Um, I am actually going to lead off with the Orbeetle here. Given his team, I want to get as much information about this as possible. We're going to go on ahead and start that off here. Um, so, Manectric more than likely has Lightning Rod. Coma O, I assume, would have Bulletproof. Or, like, Shadow Ball and stuff. Ferrothorn's got Iron Barbs. Drapion's going to have Battle Armor. Ferrascuta Swim Swim, like, is it Rain Dance? He leads off of Drapion, actually. That, oh, that is so not a good matchup for us. Jesus Christ. All right. Is he? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Can get a big knockoff when we find black sludge on this guy okay okay all right that's fine that's fine that's fine i have a skarmory right here i could switch into rakion right now and just mess him up right now oh my god i want to i'm gonna go skarmory i'm gonna go skarmory a black sludge is good information i'm not staying in on this thing he can knock me off all he wants we know he's Black Sludge. There's the Toxic Spikes. Oh, boy. All right. So we do want to have... Uh, we do want to get uh, this guy in at some point. I am going to just go for the sub. He would draw. Ooh, okay. Okay. Ooh, Manectric. Oh, good, good, good. Good, good, good. We're going to get our substitute off here. Now, he can Thunderbolt. I can get a mean body press off on something. If he wants a Thunderbolt to break my sub, go for it. Go for it. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Thunderbolt. All right. Fine by me. I'm going to body press, and I want to see how much Whimsicott takes from this Thunderbolt. Oh, big boy damage. That was a crit, too. I almost want to body press again just to get rid of this thing. I don't want to. Uh, I've got enough speed for... Mm. Do I want to take this thing out? What do I value more? What do I value more? Come oh, Let's keep this thing around. Whimsicott can eat a... Whimsicott can eat a Specs Thunderbolt. I'm going to go for Whimsicott here. I'm going to defog these T-Spikes away. He goes for overheat right now. God tier play. God tier play. Volt switch. Okay, so he is not choice. Not. I'm going to write down here. Not choice. Volt switch. Okay. So we could have roosted off some damage. Oh, no, we couldn't have. We were substituted. Never mind. Okay. I did not see how much we were at prior to. To get like a good gauge on damage. We know he's not choice. So we know Terrakion is going to bop. Uh, Ferrothorn's like his best play for this, isn't it? I can't defog in front of Drapion. I cannot defog in front of Drapion. Here comes Drapion. Okay. That's what I thought. That's what I thought was going to happen. So, he might... 
Um, if he's max HP Drapion, I have, yeah. Mm. Yes. Um, I'm going to Moonblast for some chip. Is that the play here? I don't think he'd poison jab. I'm going to Moonblast for some chip. I don't think he'd poison jab. I have a Skarmory right there. Tox Spikes were great. Tox Spikes were a great bring, especially because I didn't have Gengar. 38, 46 if he's max HP. Looking like it. Looking like it. Night Slash. Okay, fine by me. We resist that. We take those. We take those. Now, I don't think he wants another one. I don't think he wants another one. I need to keep I need to keep Whimsicott healthy actually. Um, I'm gonna take this opportunity to go out into Skarmory. If he goes into Manectric right now, fantastic. But I'm gonna go out into Skarmory right now. There's the poison jab. Okay, sick. So what I want to do here is frankly. I went for sub last time. Would he let me do it again is the question. I'll go for it. I'll go for it. We've seen Toxic Spikes, Night Slash, Poison Jab. There's a Night Slash again. Okay. So that did 20%. So we actually, our sub does not get broken by a Night Slash unless that was a really low roll. And I will just go for a Roost here. I wonder if he hits my sub, does that still count as helmet? Let's find out. <laughs> Let's find out. I'm going to Roost. I want to keep this thing healthy for Barrascuta. Potentially Como as well. Let's see what he's got. We know Manectric's not choice. Uh, T-Spike, Drapion. Is this like Scarf Barrascuta? He withdraws on my Roost. Okay. Fine by me. He goes back out to Manectric. Now, I do want to sub here. He would have just sacked this thing, too, if I attacked. So I want to sub here in case he Volt switches. I'm going to sub. Might be a bad play, but I think he's going to try to Volt Switch. There it is. Okay, so substituting was the right play. That was the right play. What does he want to go out into to take this hit? Let's see. Let's find out together, shall we? Let's find out together. Um... I'm curious what the... Goes out to Coma-O. Okay. So here comes Coma-O. A Brave Bird's doing a lot of damage to this thing. Um, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to get some yip. He's got the flamethrower to break my sub. Okay. Fine by me. Fine by me. We're going to Brave Bird get some chip damage. Anything that prevents him from going for any sort of... Oh. Was that another crit? No, it was not. No, it was not. That was a lot of damage. Wow, 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 wow. That was offensive as heck damage. Now then. Um, I... I'm going to Brave Bird again. He flamethrowers again. Fine by me. Toma OKO Skarm. Okay. Um. I don't think I can two hit KO Drapion anymore, can I? Probably. 
Let's go into Cilantro here. Let's threaten him with a Moonblast. And then let's potentially defog on whatever he wants to bring in. I'm worried about that Drapion again. I'm worried about that Drapion. Night Slash and Poison Jab doesn't give me too much to want to take the hit. He withdraws. Okay, does he go Drapion? He goes Ferrothorn. Okay. Now, I wonder if I can get a Defog off in front of this thing. Do we see Leftovers? We see my Leftovers. We do not see his leftovers. That leads me to believe he's like Chompleberry. And I'm going to defog these T-Spikes away. Because that's going to let Gudra come in healthy for the most part. That's going to let Barakion come in healthy for the most part. Does he go for... He just goes for Gyro Ball. Okay, so that's going to knock out Whimsicott. Pharaoh KOs Whimsicott. Okay. Now then, um, you're minus one evasiveness, and I have an Assault Vest Gudra that can click Flamethrower. I like those odds. I like those odds quite a bit. And by Flamethrower, I mean Fire Blast, because you're minus one evasiveness. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got for me. He withdraws. Okay. And he goes down to Drapion to take the Fire Blast. I don't know if Drapion wants to smoke. Almost. Almost. Okay. He's going to get another layer of Toxic Spikes up. Which is really, really bad. Um, Thunderbolt does not net me any miss one way or another. I'm going to click Thunderbolt. I'm going to click T-Ball right here. He knocks off my AV. Mm, okay. I can take a Night Slash. I can take a Poison Jab. Um, I want to knock... Okay, he just goes for Poison Jab. So he does not get up T-Spikes, thankfully. That is going to be doing some considerable build damage. He does get the Gooey Drop. However, Gudra is going to knock out the... Drapion. Cool. So we don't play with any more T-Spikes. Good to know. I am down Skarmory and Whimsicott, however. But uh, we did what we needed to do. We did what we needed to do. We're what? 138? Uh, Coma. Oh, go Barrascuta. Now, Banded Barrascuta, uh, 130, if he's Banded Ice Fang, that kind of tickles. But I have no choice other than clicking Thunderbolt right now. Right? Do I? Let me think about this. Let me think about this. Banded Ice Fang. I'm at 70%. If he's not Banded, cool. He can just go for Flip Turn as well, just for some chip. Post Combat. Oh, that's going to hurt. Okay. Uh, close combat. Okay. Um, barricade. Ooh. Okay. So, I'm curious. I did not think that that thing got close combat. Um, from my range, Bandit definitely killed. Which means Scarf Tarakion can come in. And revenge with close combat. Or I can go hive mind here and toss off a future site. Oh, let's find out what his item is, shall we? Choice band. Okay. So on this Pokemon, he would probably go out into Ferrothorn, which does not give me much. So what I'm going to do is just click future site right here. He no longer has a dark type. He does not want to stay in a banded close combat me. We know Barrascoot is choice banded. 
Um, he could be Choice Band Aqua Jet as well, so we need to keep that in mind. Let's toss up a Future Sight here. Because Ferrothorn's going to come out, and I'm 90% sure I don't see an item on Ferrothorn. It's got to be Choppel. It has got to be Choppel, which means we only have Terrakion left to deal with it. As he goes out in a coma... Oh, interesting. So he can Flamethrower me. Um... I'm going to click Recover in front of this thing to see what he wants to go for. This has me nervous. I don't know if we can do this one. Oh, we're faster. Shit. Clanging scales. Okay. That's fine by me. We take that. We take that. I'm going to recover again. He's going to die to the... He's going to die to that. So he is less speed... Slower... Slower than Orbeetle. I'm a fast Orbeetle. I thought he'd be much faster than that. Uh, I'm not speeding Chandelure. So, yeah. Right? I'm not speeding Chandelure with this. Oh, this is speed tie. Yeah, I'll recover here. Here's the flamethrower. Okay. And then Como is gonna die to future sight. Um Orb KO's Como O. With Future Sight. Okay, cool. So he has no coma O anymore. His Barrascuta comes in. Are you going to click water move on me? I am so curious now. Do I go into Cloyster? I think I do. Um, Let me see here. Barrascuta. Choice banded. Close combat. Oh, Choice Man in Close Combat, actually. If he makes this play, he wins the... Uh, doesn't necessarily win. Do I need to keep this around for... I'm just going to Bug Buzz. I'm going to Bug Buzz, man. I'm in a bad spot. I don't know if I can bring this one back. He just flip turns. He just flip turns. Okay. Barra KOs. Orb. With flip. I'm in a really bad spot. I don't know if I can bring this back. Here comes a Ferrothorn. Uh, Ferrothorn is going to be Choppel 100%. There is no doubt in my mind. There is not a single doubt in my mind that this thing is not Choppelberry. But I have nothing else I can do other than weaken this, hope for a crit, and try to sweep a Scarf Terrakion right now. There's Choppelberry. Yep, there is no doubt in my mind that this thing was not Choppel. And now he can gyro ball me. Barrow KOs with gyro ball. Yep, okay. Yeah, I don't think I can win this one. I do not think I can. Um, he's not Scarf, man. He's not... Uh, he's not Scarf. If Barrascuta has Aqua Jet, that's how I lose. So I need to go for a Shell Smash right here. I need to go for a Shell Smash right here. There's a body press. Okay. I'm curious if Aqua Jet knocks us out of this range. Okay. Uh, my best bet is to click Icicle Spear right now. Because I think we knock out Ferrothorn. Where 
are we at? Banded Aqua Jet does 20 to 24 to us. Hold on. Where are we at? Poister KOs Pharaoh. Where are we at? Because we know Manectric is not choiced. Here comes Banded Barrascuta. I'm at what? 43? I'm at 34%. Banded Aqua Jet does not. All right. Icicle Spear. Pin Missile is my better play. 95% accuracy. 90% accuracy. I'm going to go for Pin Missile here. Because if he has any HP investment, Icicle Spear might not pick up the KO. All right. I think Cloy KO's Barrascuta. All right. The Ferrothorn and Barrascuta are gone. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. You know, Steve told me before this match, if it comes down to a 1-0, he's going to be really mad. And I'm really sorry if this is how this turns out. I'm very sorry if that's how this turns out. I brought the pin missile specifically for you, Reuniclus. Oh, this might be close. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Boister KOs Reuniclus. And I Icicle Spear to pick up the kill on the Manectric. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I, my, my stomach is in my throat right now. My stomach is in my throat right now. Oh my god. Cloyster brings it back for the sweep. And the Detroit Steel Wings win 1-0 over Magnitude and the Milwaukee Sawsbucks. I have pit stains. I'm so sorry. Holy shit. What a match. My, uh, my throat's in my stomach. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. GG to Steve, man. That was a match, dude. Oh, my God. Okay. Woohoo. Oh, boy. We're going to pick up, uh, as of recording this, the second win of the series. I don't know what our week two matchup was because we played this one before our week two. GG to Steve, guys. Go show some love over on his channel. Don't forget, pick us on Detroit Steel Wings merchandise. Pick up some Be Great, Do Great merch as well. It's available till the end of the month. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys have enjoyed this week's battle, go on ahead and show some love on that like button down below. If you guys are new, feel free to subscribe for more so you do not miss out. We also have the Breejex Battle Royale going on this season as well. You guys can check out that league. That does go up on the same day as these uploads do as well. So, with well, that being said, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I want to remind you to be great and do great. I'm going to let this outro bang. I'm going to talk to you all soon. Later.